So for this video is I want to share more about ESP32. So how we can control ESP32 to high power just like uh, AC or DC. So for this video is I'm going to control 12 volt solenoid using uh, this 5 volt relay because we're going to control this ESP32 to relay and the relay we control to high voltage. So high voltage which means you can use both 240 volt or 12 volt or 24 volt any voltage below 250 volt. So the maximum current for this relay will be 10 ampere. So I'm using this is 12 volt solenoid but this the current will be just only one ampere that is a very low current so that's very good enough to control this relay so my previous the video that I already make how to control LED blink instead of LED blink today I'm going to replace to relay so ESP32 we control relay and the relay we control appliance so the relay will be 5 volt because ESP32 is basically there is no 5 volt output from ESP32 here there will be 3.3 volt but this 3.3 volt will be enough to trigger 5 volt if these things 3.3 volt cannot trigger to this 5 volt relay and we have to have a separate 5 volt power supply but let's try to use 3.3 volt Otherwise, we're gonna have a separate power supply for the 5 volt. So make sure you watch my previous video that how to set up ESP32 step by step with Arduino IDE because there's a little bit things need to change in Arduino IDE using ESP32. So let's get start with this ESP32. So first, I'm going to use micro USB cable. So micro USB cable connect and connect to the computer. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to do is I will write the code that we make the relay on for 3 seconds and off for 3 seconds. So that will be on, off, on, off. So through the relay, we control the solenoid. Alright, so first let us write the code and upload the code first so after you already connect your ESP32 to, to your laptop and uh, this is the code that you're gonna see you can download the code on the link so make sure that you select your ESP32 module so if you click on the tools here you're gonna see ESP thirty ESP right here because I already select. Otherwise, you're gonna select to ESP thirty two here. There are a lot of version here. Then you have to select which model you are using. So I'm using ESP thirty two. The bot will be you need to check on the behind of the bot. So my is DevKey V one. And you click that, and of course this is the popcorn. So after you set the popcom, you make sure that there is a popcom on com7. Maybe yours will be com3, com2, com6, com5, any com. Alright, just make sure that the com is connected here. And after this, you try to upload the code here. When you upload the code, you must press the boot button on ESP32. So let's click here. So now upload the code. Okay, now, now you can leave. Before you press the enable pin, uh, which is for the reset. Now this time, we're going to connect our relay to ESP32. So I'm going to just place the breadboard here. All 
right place on the breadboard so my goat according to my goat a VCC VCC we connect to 3.3 volt here and the ground we connect to the ground here make sure that that is you connect the ground VCC and this is in in I'm going to use the digital pin number two here you can press another pin reset so the relay will be on three seconds okay so through the relay, we are going to control this output for 12 volt solenoid. So I have this is 12 volt solenoid, and this is my 12 volt power supply. 12 volt 3 ampere power supply, and this is input for 240 volt. And here's the output. So red is positive, and black is negative. So let me turn on the power. If I turn on the power, then the solenoid will be unlocked. So the solenoid is on and off. If I need to make it my hand to make it switch on and off on the main point, Right, so I don't want to use my hand all the time to make it on and off. So I need to control this from uh, uh, from this relay. So make sure you turn off first. Here, this is a 12 volt negative and 12 volt positive. So just remove 12 volt positive here. The relay will connect to COM, which is common. So the connection, this is. 12 volt negative we connect directly to solenoid negative and 12 volt positive we comes into common of the relay and out from normally open and we goes to solenoid all right so now this time i will just need to turn on power supply for one times and the relay we make it on and off to the solenoid so let me turn on the power source from here So three seconds on, three seconds off. So this is a real world how you can apply this ESP32 to control a relay. So the relay we control appliance. So this is not only for solenoid. You can control uh, high voltage or high power appliance just like a fan or the light or a motor so as long as the current is less than 10 ampere you can use to control so the timing you can adjust from your code alright so I hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video